Hey guys, today what we're going to be doing is looking at applying the substitution method. Applying the substitution method is what happens when we're going to be looking at word problems. So let's go ahead and look at this first one. It says Allison has $4.90 of nickels and dimes in her wallet. She has 20, few, uh, 20 fewer dimes than nickels. So what are our unknowns? Our unknowns are the amount of dimes and nickels. So amount of dimes and nickels. So what are the restrictions? The restrictions are what I know. So I know I have a total of $4.90 and uh, the other one is I have 20 fewer dimes and nickels. All right, so the next thing is we are going to look at is define your variables. Well, my variables, I'm just going to use n for nickels. And my other thing, I'm going to use d for dimes. So now it says, how many nickels and dimes does Allison have in her wallet? So it says she has 20 fewer dimes than nickels. Let me make sure that's right. She has 20 fewer dimes than nickels. So what that is going to look like is the amount of uh, nickels she has. Oops, sorry. Let me go back. The dimes she has is her nickels minus 20 because she has 20 fewer dimes than nickels. The second one we're going to use the money. So anytime we're using money we're actually going to use the coin amount. I know if I take my nickels, I know if I take my dimes, it is going to add up to four dollars and ninety cents. So the first thing I'm going to do is see if I can isolate a variable and I already have D by itself. Now before I plug it into um, the equation down below, before I plug it in right here, what I'm going to do is, I don't like the, all these uh, decimals, so what I'm going to do is multiply everything by 100. And I'm going to have a new equation of 5n plus 10d equals $4.90, uh, excuse me, 490. And I still have d equals n minus 20. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this, um, n minus 20, and I'm going to plug it in for d because that's what d equals. d equals n minus 20. So that'll give me now 5n plus 10 times the quantity of n minus 20 is equal to 490. So this is going to give me now 5n plus 10n minus 200. And that's going to equal 490. I'm then going to add 200 on both sides. And then I'm going to combine like terms to get 15n is equal to 590. So then when I divide both sides by 15, the total amount of nickels I have, let me bring up my calculator really quickly, is if I have 590, divided by 15, that's not right, uh, oh, I'm added wrong, 490 plus 200 is 690, so now when I divide both sides by 15, if I were to do that now, 690 divided by 15 that is going to equal 46. That means I have a total of 46 nickels. Now what I want to do is figure out how many dimes I have. Well, if I look at this equation up here, the total amount of dimes is my nickels, which was 46 minus 20. That'll give me a total of 26 dimes. All right. So let's go ahead now and look at the next one. This is saying Bobcats Labs needs to make 500 liters of 12% saline solution. The only solution available is 10% saline solution and 20% saline solutions. Now, anytime you're ever given any of these mixing problems where you're mixing two things, 
uh, the equations are always uh, the same. You're going to have your weaker solution plus your stronger solution equals your total amount. That might be gallons, pounds, liters, so on and so forth. The second one is your percent times x plus your percent times y is equal to your percent times 100. Excuse me, percent times total. So then it says, what are your unknowns? So your unknowns is amount of 12% of 10% uh, and 20% solution. So then it says, what are your restrictions? Your restrictions are, what do you know? You know you have a total of 500 gallons And that you know you're going to be mixing, oops, you know you're going to be mixing ten percent and twenty percent solution. All right, so now let's go ahead and solve this. It says define our variables. My x, I always make that be my weaker solution. That's going to be my 10% solution. While my Y is going to be my 20% solution. Now, how many liters of each um, should be mixed to make 12% saline solution? So my equation is my weaker solution plus my stronger solution and I will have a total of 500 gallons of that solution. The next one I'm going to do this with the percents. This is going to be then 10% of my weaker solution plus 20% which is the stronger solution is equal to 500 gallons of what the solution I want it to be which is 12%. Now I want you to notice I put these percents in decimals. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up a little bit because I don't like when it has these decimals here. So if I multiplied, uh, first if I multiply this out, this would actually give me 60. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply each and every term by 10. So I'm going to have x plus 2y is equal to 600. And my original equation that I had up top was x plus y equals 500. Now that I have my two equations, what I'm going to do is I am going to um, isolate one of the variables. So then I can use substitution. I'm going to choose to isolate this x by subtracting y on both sides. So then my original equation is now going to be transformed into x is equal to 500 minus y. Now that I know what x equals in terms of y, I'm going to plug in that 500 minus y into my x. That is going to give me then 500 minus y plus 2y is equal to 600. Uh, I'm then going to combine like terms and minus 500 on both sides. And that will give me then y is equal to 100. So that's great. That means I need 100 gallons of the 20% solution. Now I need to plug in this 100 into either one of these two equations. The top one looks a little easier. My original equation looks a little easier to use. It's going to be x plus 100 equals 500. When I uh, subtract 100 both sides, I'm going to get x equals 400. That means that I will need 400 gallons of the 12 of the 10% solution. Mix it with 100 gallons of the 20% solution, which will give me 500 gallons of the 12% solution. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this last one. This one deals with this guy ordering pizza and breadsticks. So it says Jason and Joe are both standing in line at Papa M's Pizza. Jason orders four large pizzas and one order of breadsticks. His total before tax is $34.46. Joe orders two large pizzas and one order of breadsticks. His total before tax is $18.48. So what are the unknowns in this situation? It's cost of pizza and breadsticks. 
So what do we know? Or what are my restrictions? What do I know? Um, this is basically forming the equation. I know that four large pizzas and one breadstick, so four pizzas plus one breadstick, is equal to $34.46. And I know Joe, Joe ordered two pizzas and one breadstick, order of breadsticks, and his order was $18.48. Now that I have these two equations, I can define my variables of saying P equals pizza and B equals breadsticks. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this. What is the cost of a large cheese pizza? What is the cost of an order of breadsticks? So if I look at my equations that I wrote was two pizzas, excuse me, the first one was four pizzas plus one uh, um, breadstick was $34.46. And the second one was two pizzas plus one breadstick was $18.48. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this bottom equation, and I'm going to get B by itself. I'm going to do that by subtracting 2P on both sides, which means I have 1B is equal to $18.48 minus 2P. Then what I'm going to do is look at my other equation, the top one, and every time I see a B, I'm going to substitute $18.48 minus 2P. I'm going to substitute that in right there. So that's going to look like 4P plus, now instead of B, I'm going to rewrite that as 18.48 minus 2P is equal to $34.46. I'm now going to combine like terms. This will give me now 2P plus $18.48 is equal to $34.46. I'm now going to minus $18.48 on both sides. And I'm going to get 2P is equal to, let's go and put that in my calculator, uh, $34.46 minus $18.48 gives me a total of $15.98. When I divide both sides by 2, I'm going to get one pizza costs $7.99 before tax. That's awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of these two equations. And I think it would be easier to choose this equation, 2P plus 1B equals uh, $18.48. So we're going to use that equation, 2P plus 1B equals $18 and what was that, 48 cents? 48 cents. And instead of P for pizzas, I already know how much a pizza cost. Pizza costs $7.99. So in red, my equation now is going to look like, after I substitute that in there, 2 times $7.99 plus 1 breadstick is equal to $18.48. Now all I do is solve. So if I do $7.99 times 2, that's going to be $15.98 plus 1B, one order of breadsticks, equals $18.48. And then all I do to solve for B is I am going to then subtract $15.98 on both sides. And that will give me one breadstick will give me my total cost. So if I do $18.48 minus $15.98, that will give me my total for one breadstick, which is $2.50. Hope this video helped, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to give uh, me an email or your teacher.